And finally, for today's program, let's turn to Ashley Chisholm for a look at Adventist history. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. From March 1st, 1878 through March 4th, 1878, delegates convened in Battle Creek, Michigan for the third special general conference session. Those who lived too far away from Battle Creek in order to arrive in time for the short special session were encouraged to write letters about their situation, needs, prospects, and desires and send the letters, instead of themselves, to Battle Creek. Even James White, then president of the General Conference, was unable to attend due to illness, but wrote in as he could. The General Conference Committee called this special session in order to address the fact that the church's work was rapidly growing and needed providing for. The main item that the session addressed was the Sabbath school interest and led to the organization of the Seventh-day Adventist Sabbath School Association on March 4, 1878. The association's first executive committee was made up of D.M. Canwright, S.N. Haskell, and W.C. White. One of their first suggestions was the publication of a songbook and the publication of instruction books for children, as well as the promotion of children's meetings at camp meetings. 138 years later, the Sabbath School and Personal Ministries Department, as it is now known, is still busy with providing literature and other resources for Sabbath schools across the globe in order to, as its original constitution in 1878 stated, efficiently train their members to be totally involved with the grand mission of the third angel's message. And that was this week in Adventist history. 